Namaste and thank you for joining me today on the sixth day of Navratri to listen to stories from the Devi Mahatmyam. The past five days I have told you stories from chapter 1 through 5 and today will be chapter 6. In chapters 1 through 5 we saw how Yoga Maya and how Mahishasuramadini came and defeated all the uh, evil Asuras and we also know that uh, Ambika, Devi Ambika, Durga Mata Devi as we call her after she killed Mahishasura had given a promise to all the gods that she would always come whenever they needed it. Whenever they needed her she would be there. It would no longer be very difficult to get her. She would always be there. Now, what has happened? We heard, we saw in chapter 5 that the gods had been vanquished yet again. They had been defeated yet again by an evil Asura, a brave Asura, a strong Asura, a very, very evil Asura and his brother, Shumbha and Nishumbha. Shumbha and Nishumbha had got this boon from Brahma and so they were able to defeat the gods and now they were the rulers of the three worlds. Chanda and Munda were their evil and able assistants and when Shumbha and Nishumbha had gone to Himalayas, Chanda and Munda had gone with them and there they had a come across with, come across Devi. She was, you know, enjoying her time and they had decided that she would be the best person to be with their lords, that is Shumbha and Nishumbha. Well, Shumbha said, oh yes, let her come, that would be great, bring her in. But what had Devi said? When Chanda and Munda had gone there, she had said, Oh, I will come. Shumba and Nishumba are the strongest. There is no doubt about it. And I will definitely come. I am willing to be with them. But they have to come and defeat me first. Because you know, that's a promise I made. Long, long time ago, I had made that promise. I don't know why I made it, but I did. And then what had happened is, Dhumralochna, their general, had come to take her, tried to grab her hair and she had destroyed him. She had burnt him to ashes by just looking at him because he had tried to touch her hair. Now, we shall go further. Shumbha gets angry. What? She has turned Dhumra Loshna to ashes? Bring her. Okay, Chanda, Munda, you guys go and take the Asuras with you. Pra drag her and bring her to us. So they did. Chanda and Munda went. They were big, built, huge and with all weapons. Not just Chanda and Munda went, a huge army went with them. And as they went and they reached this beautiful place where the lake was serene and calm and this beautiful tree was blossoming with flowers, there they saw, seated on a lion, Devi, smiling. She was seated on her favorite mount, the lion, Simha, Simha Vahini. She sat on the lion looking really, really pleased and happy and very calm. The lake is calm and serene and in front of that is our lion which is looking very happy, purring loudly, 
because he is with the Devi who he loves and on top of him is seated this Devi in beautifully colored garments, red and gold and her hair is nice and long. She has a crown on her head and she has nice jewelry on her side, on her arms and in her waist and she is smiling, looking beautiful. Seeing her, the asuras who were coming, they say, wow, it's just her that we have to take. Not even Chanda Munda, the asura, the other asuras, they just rush towards her. And when they rush towards her, she gets angry. This pleasantly smiling Devi starts getting angry. Her anger becomes frowning. She's frowning and she's angry. Her teeth are gritting and she's so angry. These people have come again. Mm. And her forehead starts frowning, frowning. And from that frown on her forehead, issues past a dark, dark, black as the night sky smokish feeling and then that becomes big and Kali Devi comes forth. She is black with the anger of Ambika of Devi. There is the, the, the darkness just as the starless sky and her her cheeks are sunken in and she carries in her hand a staff which has a skull on the head. She wears a garland made of skull heads. There is anger in her. Her eyes are wide open. Her tongue is just out lolling and she is covered in tiger skin. Kali comes with her eyes wide open and her cheeks sunken, angry, angry, angry and she just rushes upon this Asuras. She rushes with anger, so much anger and she starts just, she has nails which are long and she starts scraping these Asuras, killing one after the other, one after the other. Devi Ambika still seated on her tiger, on her lion, is still smiling but she has still a frown in her brows. She's watching the manifestation that has come out from her forehead when she was so angry. She is watching Kali just fight with all the Asuras. So she doesn't even have to fight. She just goes and grabs them, tears, tears their chests, eats some, when, and all the weapons that are being thrown at her, she just, just opens her mouth wide and in everything goes. One after one, she swallows the chakras, the trishulas, everything. She just swallows them up. Swaha, swaha. She just swallows them up. One after the other, asuras are dying. There are heads flying there. There are arms everywhere. She is just, just, just destroying them, disseminating all the army. Chanda looks at this angry, really, really, really angry. Says, oh, hmm. Our Devi, that beautiful lady, she has her own army. Ah, 
this kali is just destroying everyone and he jumps he decides that he is going to go and fight and he starts he first takes his bow and he shoots arrows kali looks at that and ah she holds it and throws it the next he puts his chakra and it goes near her neck and she just holds it and throws it and arrows and spears and she opens up her mouth wide and ah everything is gone swallowed and she just comes rushing to him and she holds him with her left hand with her right hand she has a sword and she just sways him. and there she throws him away and then seeing chanda chanda slain his brother munda looks and gets really 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 angry oh my god what on earth chanda she has killed chanda she dares to do that and he rushes he just rushes to her <laughs> she laughs oh come 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 you also come and she takes his head and she takes with her other hand she just slays him too and in her two hands she has the heads of chanda and munda holding them with by the hair is their blood is just dripping holds them she looks satisfied she is looking at all the other asuras the other asuras look at her some are still alive right they look at her they are quaking oh my god oh my god chanda and munda are both dead my goodness what are we going to do let's run let's run let's run and they all just run 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 off they all run away far far away kali now this lady who is who has her eyes wide open her three cheeks sunken in and her tongue out still looking scary with those chanda and munda in her hands she is feeling satisfied she has destroyed hordes of asuras she has killed chanda and munda and who were going to attack devi who wanted to grab devi and take to shumbha and nishumbha she turns around and goes to devi and says ambika devi ambika here you go here you go the two that you wanted the two that tried to defeat you tried to come to you now it's up to you to take care of that shumbha and nishumbha but here you go take this devi ambika smiling and she says of course thank you it is her own self that has come through her forehead and become kali it is her angry self her the self that wanted to save all the entire universe from shumbha and nishumbha she is only been able to now get rid of dhumralochana chanda and munda but for chanda and munda and all the asuras she was able to use the power that comes out of her frowning forehead out of her anger and that was kali she says oh kali you are so wonderful you killed Ch chanda and mundi munda so you are now chamunda from now on you will be called chamunda so oh kali you are chamunda 
saying this, Chamunda smiles and she goes, relaxes and so does Devi back on her lion, calmly seated, waiting to see what will happen next. Rishi Medhas is telling the story to Raja Surata and the merchant who both of them had felt this attachment to all that was normal. They had lost everything. Their families had thrown them out of their homes and yet they kept on feeling love or they were missing the people behind, that they are left behind. And Rishi Medhas was telling them that all this is because of Devi. And he has started the story of all about Devi because Raja Surata wanted to know what happened, who this Devi was. And so Rishi Medhas was singing the praises of the story of Devi. And whatever he said to Raja Surata and the merchant, Rishi Markandeya was telling his student Bhaguri. Rishi Markandeya was telling as part of the Devi Mahatmyam, which is 700 shlokas. 700 shlokas, therefore it is called Durga Saptashati, 700 shlokas of Durga. So he was telling this story which comes in 700 shlokas to his student. These stories, the Devi Mahatmyam told by Rishi Markandeya is all part of the Markandeya Purana. The Purana is huge. This is only a small part of it. The Purana is huge and has stories about all sorts of things. And that Purana is compiled by Rishi Veda Vyasa. Okay. So now we've seen that Chamunda is now calm after killing Chanda and Munda and she is given this name Chamunda by Devi and what is they're waiting for what is going to happen next and what will happen next that we will see tomorrow I wonder how what Shumbha will feel now will he come will he be the one who is going to come and fight directly with Devi or will he send his brother Nishumbha or will he send some other generals and some other asuras that we shall see tomorrow on the seventh day of Navratri. Namaste.